Now to Sweden, where this year's first Nobel Prize winners have just been announced. The committee in Stockholm awarded this year's prize for medicine jointly to a pair of U.S. researchers, Victor Ambros and Gary Rufkin, will share nearly a million euros for their discovery of microRNA. That's a class of tiny molecules that play a crucial role in regulating how genes work. I will first read the announcement. Well, Anna Karthaus from DW Science is here with more on the Nobel Prize for Medicine. So, Anna, uh, much of a surprise here with these winners? Well, if there's one thing that you can say for sure about the Nobel Prize is that it's always a surprise. So there are some lists floating around, and the two were actually on one of the lists I had seen, but there are hundreds of nominations each year. It's impossible to know who's actually going to win the prize. What's not surprising, though, it's uh, that it's two men from or working in the U.S., or also from the U.S., with the last 229 prizes that were awarded. Only 13 women were awarded, and most of the times the prize goes to the U.S. So that's maybe not the surprise. Okay. Um, they, were, they won their award for discovery of microRNA, I understand. Uh, tell us, what is microRNA and what does it do? Yeah, so I think we need to do a little deep dive, like a very superficial deep dive into uh, genes and how genes are regulated and how genes are the source of you and me, our hearts, our muscles, our neurons, like how we work. Because actually every cell in our body is equipped with the same instruction set, which is our DNA. But not every cell develops into the same cell. We have neurons, we have muscles, we have the heart. So every cell, there is some kind of translation from the genes to the proteins in the end. And we knew for a long time that um, mRNA, which got the prize last year, um, had to play some role. We knew that from, or people knew that from the 1960s. But uh, in 1993, uh, one of the two researchers who got the prize today, he found microRNA, which tunes the translation a little bit, which uh, he found that in C. elegans, which is a worm, and people did not really pay that much of attention because they saw, said it's just peculiar in the worm, it doesn't have to do anything with humans. In 2000, um, the two researchers who got the prize, um, like Gary Rufkin was that, um, showed that it's also important in humans. And um, yeah, that was a very important paradigm shift and um, explains a lot how genes are translated into proteins. Okay, important in humans. Um, what does that mean? How do we benefit from knowing this? Yeah, that's a very good question. And that was also basically the first question the, the journalists in the, in the room, in the press conference had. And uh, the sad answer is um, this prize was awarded for physiology um, and it's very basic science. It's for basic understanding how the process work, works. Um, right now there are no clear applications inside. There's research going on but um, it has to be seen where this research will lead to. Knowledge is a good thing in itself. We don't know where it might lead. Uh, Anna, thank you so much. Anna Carthouse from DW Science.